Now there's one option we didn't cover with the update statement that we want to briefly show you. We've shown you how to be able to update all of the records in a given table without specifying or by not specifying criteria. What if you wanted to update based on using the limit statement, for example, such as the top five or the top n records? Well, run an update statement without any criteria. So simply, let's say we want to update setting the phone number. We'll set biz underscore phone one equal to the 203 number, in fact, and that'll make it very easy to illustrate. So 8979. And we want to limit the update to apply to only the first five records, for example. So update people, set business phone equals XYZ for limited number f of five records. Five have been changed. That's the top five that you see here. And it's all based on the order in which it's sorted. So if you include an order by descending, for example, then it'll impact the other records in the table from A to Z. Let's select star from people to see what changes have taken effect. Notice that the first five have been updated. These are the first five records. So along with update, you can use the limit statement, which will apply the changes or updates only to n number of records. You can specify a limit using the syntax that we've shown you prior as well, such as an offset perhaps 1 comma 5 or 1 comma 6 or something along those lines. But the bottom line is you can use update with these sorts of statements to gain additional power to affect records that you're interested in. Now let's focus on delete. Delete mimics update. So if you understand update, you'll understand delete very easily. Of course, we all know what delete means, but in terms of the syntax. So delete syntax is similar to update DML statement statements that is so task 8 delete all rows from table this isn't advisable or advised but nonetheless is possible in order to do so simply delete from name of table and this will delete everything again this is an advice but will work let's return to the shell and execute it if we delete from people everything will be removed now we do have other tables maybe we don't want to delete the base table let's show tables we have people three for example let's select count from people three to see how many records are there. Fifteen are there. Let's delete all the records from people three using delete from people three with no criteria will wipe all of the records. It's that simple. Fifteen rows have been affected. Now when we run a select count you'll see that it returns zero records. Similarly, a select star from people three reveals that there are no records. So just like that, all the data in people three is gone. So when using delete, be very careful and use criteria wherever possible. So that leads us to task nine, which is to delete specific items from table. And this is where the syntax more closely mimics the update syntax because we will use the criteria such as where a column name is equivalent to a certain value so let's find some values that are of interest in fact since the people three table is now empty let's use one of the DDL statements a drop statement to drop the people three t table and we'll document that statement since we've wiped all of its data anyway so we'll drop table people 3 in fact we ran this command against people 3 so let's drop table people 3 and now table 3 is or people 3 from the table list is gone so now let's show tables and we're left with people and people 2 people is our base table so we don't want to get rid of it just yet 
Let's select star from people two. This is a table that we can work with. How about we remove certain items or a certain item from this particular table? We can match on an easy column such as first name. So we're going to delete from people two where F name is equal to, let's pick the one that's of interest, let's take Miles for example, where F name is equal to Miles, and this will remove just that one record. So delete from is the syntax, delete from table, followed by any criteria. We'll execute this, then we'll follow up with a select star from people two, and you'll see that the record's gone, only two records remain. After each execution of a command such as delete, update, insert, and so on, and select, MySQL always returns a number of rows that were affected, and that should give you an idea as to whether or not your statement made any sense or was indeed correct. So we removed the column that was of interest. We could certainly apply the delete DML statement to the people table as well because it contains superfluous or redundant information. Let's select star from people to see what could be cleaned up. As you can see we have duplicate records for the user diamond so perhaps we'd like to clean the records here as well or perhaps we'd like to delete records where last name is equivalent to do. So in order to do as such we'll simply execute a delete from people this time where last name is equal to do. It's not suggested that you use like with delete unless you really know your data set because you could inadvertently delete records that you didn't intend to. So wherever possible try to be exact. Use equal because equal will have to match. It won't match a portion or a fraction a, less, a fraction less than 100% that is of the value. It'll have to match exactly. Let's try to delete from people where last name equals do and we'll follow that up with select star from people to see what's been cleaned up. Four records were cleaned up and before we look at the new data set let's see if indeed four records were defined that should have been or were slated for deletion. Here's the first and here are the final three. The final three came from the new table that we created. Now the table's a bit cleaner and it seems to contain fewer redundancies. In fact, the names are unique. So wherever there is a need to clean up, if you notice that there is is redundant information, delete can help you because oftentimes you'll find that your data, data does become a bit dirty since data can come from multiple sources. Here's an example of where we could use the update statement because we had a record prior with the original email address or the correct email address forcing us to use an incorrect email address. So this is an opportunity to use update. So we can take one of the update commands and we're going to set the email address for a given user. So we're going to update people and we'll set email to be a proper address, email equal to the proper name at Linux CBT where first name is equivalent to the appropriate name. Let's see how this works out. We'll control shift V and when complete we'll execute a select star from people to see what has been affected. So we want to ensure that the statement's correct. We're going to update the people table. We're going to set email to the appropriate address where first name is equal to this name and we could have matched on the same column that we intend to update because the criteria first performs a select searching for the match then when it's found or zeroed in on the row of interest then it performs the update so we could have selected the same row that we're going to update that would certainly work let's go ahead and execute this and notice that the user's email address has been updated so this is now a much much cleaner data set than what we had but we created the data set in a messy way so that we could execute some commands such as update, delete and so on. Delete is very straightforward. When specified without criteria 
delete wipes all of the records in the table. Even if the table contains 10 billion records, they'll be all deleted eventually. Whereas if you specify criteria, then delete functions just like update. Well, update also functions like delete globally in that if you don't specify criteria with update, update will update all records. So delete functions similarly, but the bad part is that delete totally wipes your, your data, whereas update simply changes it, which at least gives you the ability to back out any changes by unsetting them. So that's a little bit about using the delete command. We've covered thus far select, insert, update, delete. There are other DML commands, but these are the major data manipulation commands when interacting with a DBMS system. You're going to select data, in a, in, and you'll also, invariably you will, you'll also want to insert new data but you know that there are other means of inserting data. It is suggested that you don't use the insert statement explicitly, but there are times that you can't avoid it, especially from front-end programs. You may have a web program that's tied to your MySQL instance, which generates SQL statements and submits them directly to the MySQL instance. So you may have a form which accepts data and an action script which calls the insert statement to insert the data into the database. In those cases, you do need to execute directly SQL-based commands. But if you're using a database for managing data that comes from various sources, such as text files, try whenever possible to avoid using direct insert statements, but rather use utilities such as MySQL import. Unless your process is entirely automated and performs all of the requisite data checks to ensure that your data is not dirty in any way and create redundancies and so on. So we have select, insert, update, and delete. These are the four most common commands that you're going to use to navigate throughout any SQL instance.